Tonight we have Pastor Shafter. Pastor Shafter is in the studio. He will be talking about some of his famous songs lately. And here he is. Tim. Hello, Tim. Hello, Pastor. Is, is this my own? I come, Tim, tonight to talk about the Garden of Eden, Tim. What about evolution here? No, Tim, there wasn't no revolution. That came in 1776, Tim. Evolution. Evolution? What the heck is that? About the raising up from the monkeys to the trees to the ground to... Oh, come on, Tim. God didn't make no people out of monkeys. It says in the Bible, Tim, it says that God made people out of dust. He got, he got down on the ground, Tim, got himself up. You know, a, a good-sized handful of dust. I don't know exactly how much dust, Tim, but a complete chemical composition will be available for sale Sunday after the service for only $15, Tim. I would say that some of the people don't believe that particular type of theory. Well, only God can do it, Tim. Only God can make a tree. You ever seen a scientist make a tree, Tim? No, I have not. There you go. So he's got this fella. God decided to call him Adam. Nice name, Adam. Yes, yeah, right. And uh, Adam's there in the garden, and God says... Since you got nothing to do and got no job, I figures you could name everything in the garden. See, God had a garden full of plants, you know, vegetables, fruits, uh, uh, animals and things, and, and didn't have no names for none of them. So he said, Adam, why don't you think of some names for these here animals? I don't have a complete list of all the names of the animals, Tim, that uh, Adam did name. A complete list will be available after the uh, service Sunday for only $15, Tim. If I may continue. So, Tim, uh, Adam named all the plants and the animals and stuff, and uh, and he just wasn't happy. And I said, I ain't got nobody to play with. And God said, I know what you need. You need a woman. So God uh, God made Adam go to sleep, Tim. Oh, you yeah, know, yeah. didn't want to, uh, you know, scare him. And uh, opened him up in his chest, you know, and took out one of his ribs, Tim. That's what he did. See, he made Adam out of dust, but he made a woman out of a rib. Sounds I don't. pretty strange to me. He didn't say why, Tim, but, you know, it's in the Bible, so it must be true. Anyway, he made this woman, and he decided to call her Eve. That's a nice name, Adam and Eve, you know. And Adam woke up, and there's this woman, and, you know, he's all excited and stuff. And God said, no, whatever you do, you can all run around and play and do stuff, but don't eat the fruit of that tree over there. That's what he that. told yeah, him. I heard about that, yes. And he was standing around the garden, dancing around, and there's a devil hanging out in the garden, Tim. Oh, and the devil says, hey, Eve, he says, what you doing? The snake says to Eve, he says, why don't you have some of this here fruit? It looks pretty good. And Eve wasn't too bright, Tim. You know, she was only born a couple of days before. Yeah, right, exactly. So she went ahead and ate it, Tim. And then he said, well, why don't you give some to that husband of yours, too? He looks hungry, too. So anyway, suddenly there's God appearing, bolt of lightning, Tim. Yep. And he says, what you all doing eating the fruit? Well, Adam said, well, she made me do it. See, Tim, there's always a woman getting a man in trouble, Tim. Adam had no interest in that fruit until she popped up and said, here, why don't you try some of this here fruit? Looks pretty good. They call it the nude fruit, Tim, because it makes you realize you're naked. What exactly was wrong with the fruit? And why could you not eat it? So suddenly Tim, God gets really angry and says, that's it, everybody out of the pool, including you, Mr. Devil, kick the devil out of the garden, Tim, that's what he did, and he said, get on out there, get some clothes on and get to work, the, uh, the moral of the story, Tim, is don't eat the forbidden fruit, if you do, you, you're gonna be sorry, that's why it's forbidden, Tim, I hope I've been helpful in this regard. Well, I got to go, Tim. Okay. The Lord you. has got me booked on the, uh, you know, Regis uh, show tomorrow morning. I got to get up early. There you have it, bro. Another fine episode in visit by Pastor Shafter from Vinny.